Hi, welcome back to the Clubhouse. I'm Cooper Ray, and this is Cordially Cooper. And today we will be discussing Article 6 from the Bill of Rights, and that is the pleasant. Article 6, be pleasant. If you're having a bad day, stay home. Nobody wants to share that. <laughs> Look, life is hard enough. Um, when we're invited out on a social outing, um, a great dinner party, even drinks with friends, there's always that compelling part of you that says, you know, I have to go. And I understand that. I, I'm, I'm as social as the next person. But if you're going out and you're taking a bad mood, if that's your house gift or your or your, your, your guest gift, then nobody wants it. Uh, so the other night we are out at a friend's house in the country. He invited about eight of us over. There's always great food, good drinks, and he usually has a killer playlist. So everybody kind of returns to the living room, rolls up the rugs. It's a really guaranteed good time, an invitation that you want to receive. So there we are. And one of our friends, husband comes in, and from the minute he walks into the in the room, he's in a grouch. And you know, you think, oh, maybe, you know, they had a fight in the car, maybe not. No, this was an epic grouch. Start to finish, rumble, 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 through dinner, you were prying conversation like an oyster to get in there. It was impossible. Then even it carried on to dessert, it carried on to the dance floor. At that point, when somebody's not getting the message, I just turn up the music and turn up the vibe and turn up the liquor and like it drown them out. But on my own ride home, talking to my date, I just thought, you know, that really pisses me off. Um, we're there, we're committed to the going out to this great night, and Joe Blow is too self-centered to stay at home, um, and then comes, you know, brings that bad mood to the party. If you're in a bad mood, stay home, because I one do not want shared. Hi, uh, sitting here with um, our, our friend Cooper Murray, who stopped by the clubhouse. And uh, as with anyone who stops by, we drill them on our uh, etiquette book. <laughs> Welcome, Cooper. Thanks. Pleasure do, to be here. Do you here. say Cooper or do you say Cooper? Well, I've, I've become accustomed to Cooper over the Hearing past. Cooper. Yes, it's been it's been a long ten years being here. <laughs> Tell us about. Um, you're not from here, but you've moved to Charleston. Yes, I uh, I lived in California, and, and before that, I lived in New York. And uh, boy, is it sure different around here. People right. are sure walking around with a different attitude. <laughs> you did something that's fascinating to me. I mean, we kind of live in a bubble here in Charleston, almost like a hot house. Um, as a, someone who moved here and actually went through the schools downtown, right? Mm -hmm. So you really got thrown into oh, yes. a, a pretty intense Charleston raisin. I got the crash course on Charleston society. Did you go to Cotillion? Did you go to, you were too old? I was too old for the right yeah, the, Did you I caught up on it? Yes. <laughs> you learned your sure. shag moves? For sure. Because <laughs> every girl in Charleston pretty much expects oh, you. Oh God, you got, you're not on the market unless you yeah, learn to flip. Yeah, that's the hardest that's part. That's the hard one. So I don't know if you heard we're discussing being pleasant in, in company today. Have you got that? Oh yes. Caught that one. Um, what uh, did you? Would you catch a little bit of what we were saying? What, what do you think about uh, what, what pops your head when we talk about being pleasant? Well, when I think of being pleasant, coming from a place like New York, where it was a general melting pot, but people didn't really get together like they do here. There aren't dinner parties where there's always the cordial tea between people, and you know there's so many different people to say hello to. You have your, your usual stitch shake to give them, but up there, you what? Your stick, you know. You get a story. You're... It's interesting to hear someone who moved here as a teenager, and you immediately noticed how social the place is. And, and that's when you see the benefit of being pleasant. And, and, and by that, you know, everything is just respect people's time. And I mean, who wants to be around a grouch, right? I mean, there's tons of times when you uh, maybe have to go, particularly when you're younger, you know, you're like being dragged somewhere. And you can, but I bet your dad pops it out of you, right? Oh, for sure. And then <laughs> you get to this place that you've been dragged to and you decide, I'm going to bring down the whole mood and I'm just going to 
sit around like. Dad, have you consciously thought that? Before? Oh, for sure, for sure. I have done that too. <laughs> it's criminal. Yes, we've it's... all done that, right? It's like I'm a bad dude, and I'm gonna wreck everyone else's time. Well, that is the opposite <laughs> of what we want to do in our book. Um, but it is a conscious decision, and I think you, what, that's a great point to bring up because if someone is doing that unconsciously, then they should know. We're like, hey man, you are a downer. You you know, pop up, pop up, have a drink, you know, uh, go sniff a candle, you know, whatever it takes to get you in the mood. But um, it's the worst when people are subconsciously doing it. You got to realize to point it out to yourself. Yeah. Cooper, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for having me. We'll Fun. see you again around town. Uh, this is Cooper Ray, and you're watching Cordially Cooper. See you next time.